Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking the Spark up for flight. So, in the prior episode, we did the unboxing of this tri pack with the prop guards, uh, the finger guards from below, and the landing legs. So, uh, we're going to actually try it on a flight today. So, uh, I've checked hover, so I'm good to go. No, no TAMs. I'm in a uh, uh, good zone. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take this guy up. I'm not going to do anything really crazy with it today. Biggest thing is I want to do is see what the flight stability is of all this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, arm this and let it take up. And uh, so far, pretty good. So uh, hopefully I'm getting this in the camera. She's uh, doing pretty good as far as hovering there. We do have a little bit of a breeze, maybe three mile an hour. I don't know if you can see the bushes over there moving. So uh, again, this is holding pretty good. Now I notice it's kicked up now a little bit. So I'd say that was about a six mile an hour gust. But uh, all in all, still holding pretty good. And uh, what I want to do is I want to actually take it up. I want to take it out a little bit. And uh, I want to take it out, whoops, take it out over the spillway. And I want to keep taking it up and keep taking it out over, over the spillway. And again, I don't want, I'm not going to go up too much, but I want to keep it, uh, I want to get it up over the spillway. And I think I'm pretty much over about the center of the spillway. Got some swallows interested in it. Hovering pretty good up there. I don't have the video running because what I want to do is I want to actually try pano mode. And so I'm selecting the pano mode and I'm going to go with a horizontal pano. And then I'm going to hit the start button. So what this is, I believe, going to do is it's starting to take the, the pano images. And I think I'm six out of nine. I'll overlay probably the, uh, the images. Wow, a lot of swallows around here. Uh, okay, so that was actually pretty quick. I was a little bit surprised. Let's go ahead and let's switch it to doing a vertical. And let's uh, do a vertical. So that's only about three shots. So I'll do some overlays of that. Uh, so that must be moving the gimbal because I really haven't seen this uh, move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yaw this, this around. I need to tap my screen so I can see the screen here. So I'm going to want to look the other way down the spillway. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the panel mode. And I'm going to go back to horizontal, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to hit another pano. Um, I had read, this is the first time I'm doing the pano. And I had read it took quite a bit of time to do, but this doesn't seem to be taking too long at all. So uh, I'm now 8 out of 9. And again, I'll overlay the pano so you can see it. So pano successful. Now I'm going to go back to doing a... Vertical pano, and I'm going to hit the thing. Um, this setup here that I'm using, guys, is really working pretty good. I did a review on it with this base and the uh, the iPhone 5S. So I've had really good luck with the performance of the, the iPhone 5S. So I've been very happy about that. Uh, so we again, we've uh, now completed that. So uh, I wonder, let's do, let's hit a shallow focus shot. And let's see how that comes out. And uh, it's doing something. Okay, so it did that. Does time shot, auto balance, multiple shot, single shot. So uh, I want to go back to video. So now we have video. So we have video counting down. I want to get that. So I don't have, yeah, I got a fair amount of battery left and so uh let's go ahead and take it out a little bit we'll move it down the spillway and 
It's not moving too fast down the spillway. I don't don't have it in sport mode, so I'm just kind of leisurely flying it down. Great views out here today, by the way. And so I'm starting to lose sight with this tree. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around, turn it back around, and I'm going to fly it back up towards me. And fly back this way. Ah, it's moving a pretty good this way. And uh, still have a little bit in the battery. We'll give Norbert a quick little yaw party here. Spin it around a little bit. And I need to regain my orientation. So that's looking out at the lake. So this is looking back towards me, the cell phone tower. So I'm going to bring it back in and uh, bring it in for a little bit of a landing. We've been up there for a little bit. I want to take a look again. So far, again, like I say, um, the, uh, that, uh, the prop guards and landing gear and everything seem to be doing pretty well. So just kind of bringing it back around. I want to hit the top of that tree. And I want to bring it back around. I might have you guys a little bit in the sun. I know I'm looking up there. So again, coming down pretty nice. And uh, you can see me t walking towards it. So let's move it back towards the landing pad. So I would have to give this uh, a, a pretty good thumbs up. Uh, I was a little bit afraid with so much surface area and plus those finger guards that there might be uh, a bit of stability problem with it, but nah, not bad actually. Yeah, it's starting to complain, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down. And let's try landing it. Yeah, I missed it a little bit. But I like those. Uh, let me go ahead and save out the video. So, uh, again, I think uh, it came out pretty good with uh, with this whole setup. So i definitely give this a thumbs up. Uh, like like the setup. I'm going to probably take the prop guards off for most of it. But I, I am liking this landing gear. So I probably will put the landing gear on. I probably will take the finger guards off. I wanted to demo it. Um, even, again, I, I don't know if you can see the brush out here moving in that tree. So I got a good steady 3 mile an hour gust. No problems with it. So big thumbs up. Subscribe button coming up over there. And we'll see you in the next videos. Oh, hey, and let me know what you guys have for lunch. Or are you thinking about it if you haven't had lunch yet? Cheers.